Hi everyone, when I mention cost of living, what comes to mind? Is your cost of living based on how much money you spend every month? Or perhaps it's based on a certain type of lifestyle that you're looking for? Or could it be a survival, bare bone, basic day-to-day -day kind of lifestyle? Well, the truth is, the cost of living can only be determined by you. Only you can decide what is the standard of living according to your own unique wants and your own unique needs. In my previous video on cost of living in Penang part 1, I covered specifically on basic needs and I shared two different examples of two personas, both with a different budget so that you can have a better understanding on the cost breakdown. I specifically covered needs only. Hi everyone, I'm John from the Corporate Breakout Couple. Together with my wife, friend, we retired at the age of 40 years old in 2020. I would really appreciate it if you could smash the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can create more videos like this for you. In today's video, I'm going to cover on wants, the non-essentials that the average Penang Knight buys. So what are some wants? I'm sure you may find some of this familiar. We have categories like entertainment, like movies and karaoke, or food like restaurant dining, or electronics like an iPhone, and maybe even shopping like shoes, bags, and the list goes on. So after I cover the wants, what I'm going to do for you is to compile all the numbers for the two personas. Remember, the budget sensitive person and the average consumer. I will compile all the basic needs and the ones into one combined budget for you. It is important to budget in your ones. You should put that in your monthly and your yearly budget. My suggestion is you should be honest in tracking your wants such that you are accurate in your monthly and your yearly budget like for example traveling once or twice a year that should be included in your budget. Let me share with you a tip about spending money. Let's say you have a specific want say an Apple iWatch and you have already set aside a budget for it. So because you know you have the option to choose to buy it or not psychologically you will feel good about the purchase. Versus if you haven't catered any budget for the iWatch and it was a spontaneous buy. Chances are at the end of the month when you get your credit card bill, you will feel some sort of guilt that then adds to your stress level because you lost control over your finances. So in my previous video, I covered on the cost of living in Penang part 1 which is on basic needs. Right now, I'm going to cover on wants. And I'm going to cover various categories of ones. Every price will be quoted in Malaysian Ringgit. Are you ready? Let's jump in. So we're here at Ipudu for lunch and Ipudu is one of the biggest chains of ramen in Japan. And come, let's check out the food and the price. So for the appetizers, we're having salmon belly, followed by two sticks of kushia. And these are the appetizers which come with our ramen set. Uh, shumai and it's got some uh, pork with rice and uh, more salmon as well. And then here is my bowl of ramen. The total bill for an extremely filling lunch was RM202.75. Friend and I are having dinner at an Italian Venetian restaurant that is on the Michelin Guide and I'm having a beef carpaccio as an appetizer with a glass of red. Next appetizer is a shikete which is comprises of, of six different dishes. So here we have a spaghetti vongole which is a seafood spaghetti and then the next one is a osobuku style tender lamb with orange zest pasta. This is a tiramisu for dessert with an injection of coffee liqueur. And the Michelin Guide dinner for two works out to be 312 ringgit. So this is the number one patisserie from Japan. Let's go check out the prices for the cakes. So they are very well known for their cakes and their popular one is a legendary fresh cream cake at 15.85 per piece. Malaysians love Hagen Dazs and a single scoop of ice cream is 11.90 and a double scoop is 22.90. This mixed store seems very popular in Malaysians. I wonder why they love it. Let's go in and find out. Wow, what a huge selection. That's a Malaysian. Let's ask her what she likes about Mixed Store. Wow, they've got a huge selection of snacks from Taiwan, Korea, China, Japan, Thailand. How much does a basket like that cost? Wow, so this is 30 ringgit. 
this is 10 ringgit. That's another 10 ringgit. This is uh, 20. This is another 20. And the snakes are uh, 6 ringgit each. So, wow. More like than 100, huh? More yeah, than 100 ringgit. Like already more than 100 ringgit. Wow. Hey, I'm back at Mercato again. This time round, I'm going to show you very different items. Let's go. A bag of cherries from Australia will cost you 38.88, and that's after discount. A box of Driscoll's strawberries, which is about 450 grams, will cost you 49.40. A block of brie cheese will cost you 27 ringgit and six cents for 136 grams. A pack of Lay's. This classic flavor will cost you 12.90 ringgit. A tin of Kelsen's butter cookies from Denmark will cost you 28.88 ringgit. A carton of almond milk from the US, one liter will cost you 17.98. A pack of sausages that smoked will cost you 39.90. A full box of Ferrero Rocher, 300 grams, cost you. 39.88 Going to the movies is a favorite pastime for almost everybody. So how much do the movie tickets cost here in Penang? It costs RM1750 for one adult ticket. Karaoke is one of the favorite pastime of Malaysians after work or on weekends. The room charges for a medium room for 5 people on the weekends for 3 hours will cost you about 125 ringgit plus plus and that works out to be about 25 to 30 ringgit per person. Mobile phones are pretty much a necessity for everyone. However, the big brands like Samsung or an Apple are ones. A Samsung Galaxy S22 will cost you 3499 for 128GB. An Apple iPhone 14, which is 128GB, will cost you 3949. Mango is a popular brand in Malaysia, so let's check out the prices. A casual dress for the weekend or for going out is 299 RM. A casual top will cost you 119 RM. So this pattern shirt, which you can wear on the weekends or even to work, is 139 RM. So Charles and Keith, which is a Singaporean brand, they sell bags and shoes. Let's go check out the prices. So this pair of pumps is 239.90 RM. This cute little bag costs RM259.90. This brand is all a rage now, Onitsuka Tiger, and let's go check out the prices in Ringgit. So this model is the latest arrival and it costs RM400. Behind me is a very popular sport shoe shop. Let's go check out the prices for sport shoes. This pair of Nike Free Run is RM395. This gym holds a very special place in my heart. Friend and I come to this gym two to three times a week. Why? Because it's utmost important to work on our physical health and it's very important to remain healthy. An estimate of the monthly membership ranges between 100 ringgit to 150 ringgit, depending on whether we have classes or not. You know, it's so easy to spend money these days. If you don't feel like going to the mall, you can always hop online and still get your stuff. Lazada is a very popular website and there are numerous items on there which begs for your money. Shopee is also another popular website and it's really very enticing as the items that they sell can range from a few ringgit to a few thousand ringgit and every little thing stacks up. These websites are designed for you to buy things that you think that you want but don't really need. Malaysia is a huge country and Malaysians are used to going on road trips, either for business or for leisure. It is quite common for people to travel out of state over the long weekend or even for a short holiday. And of course, the moment you go on a holiday, the biggest cost will be your accommodation. It is pretty common to drop a few hundred ringgit per night at a hotel or an Airbnb. And of course, the moment you hit the road, the costs stack up. You've got added costs such as additional petrol, tolls within Malaysia, and parking. 
When you're on a holiday, you also tend to splurge more on shopping and on food. Over the last eight months, John and I went on numerous road trips to the different states in Malaysia. These road trips were already planned and we had already catered in the cost. The cost varies from state to state, but you can't run away from spending RM1,005 to 2,000 ringgit per trip. If you're curious to know which state we went to, the videos are available on our YouTube channel. In this segment, I'm going to build the budget and complete for the needs and the wants for the budget conscious person and the average consumer. I'd like to make a correction for my cost of living part 1 for Penang. Under the accommodation category for house purchase, previously I missed out the property maintenance which is item 3 you see over here, which costs 200 ringgit per month which works out to be 100 ringgit for one half. And the updated amount for the accommodation category for house purchase is 1,110 ringgit per month. So the update for basic needs only for part 1, for the budget sensitive person it's still the same at 1,799 ringgit per month and for the average consumer with the update is 3,386 ringgit per month. Now let's talk about, well you guessed it, more numbers. Under one's category, we have different varieties and different categories for you. Starting with food, we've shown you, for example, the Italian dinner that we had, the Japanese lunch, we have multiple snacks from the mix store, we have chaterase Japanese cakes, we have uh, ice cream from haagen and then under groceries, where we gave you prices from Mercato, you have cheese, you have fresh fruits, you have butter cookies and chocolates, examples, and then under entertainment, you have seen examples of movies, movies and karaoke, right? Electronics, you have iPhone and Samsung, which are ones. We've shown you prices for a gym membership in Penang. And then we have shopping, we have clothes, we have shoes, we have bags and various examples, as you can see. And here's a snapshot of all of them. Now, let's talk about once only comparing between the budget sensitive person and the average consumer. I'm going to put in some assumptions for the additional expenses. For example, for food, for this budget sensitive person, we're going to have more snacks and a few more meals on top of what this person has already catered for. That will be 200 ringgit. For groceries, we catered an additional 80 ringgit. For entertainment, for example, karaoke or movies or others, 100 ringgit. For shopping, whether in the malls or online, 150 ringgit. For others, for example, electronics or other stuff, it can be 120 ringgit. Now, for traveling, a one road trip which I catered for this budget sensitive person a year will be an estimated of 1,500 ringgit. And I mentioned before, what you spend annually, it should be within your budget. So for per month, if you divide by 12, it will be 125 ringgit. And bring the total of additional expenses to 775 ringgit per month for this budget sensitive person. Now, what about the average consumer? Remember, this person spends more than the budget sensitive person. So for the additional expenses for food, for example, with more snacks and more meals, this person spends 300 ringgit. For additional groceries, 150 ringgit. For entertainment, you're looking at 200 ringgit. For shopping, whether in the malls or online, 300 ringgit. Under others, whether electronics or anything else, 150 ringgit. Now, this person travels two times a year two road trips, so that works out to be 1,800 per trip, which is more than the budget sensitive person. So the total is 3,600 divided by 12 months is 300 ringgit. That brings you to a total of RM 1,400 per month. And here we are, my final slide for you, where I'm doing a grand compilation of the basic needs from part one and ones from part two, with a side-by-side -side comparison. For the budget sensitive person, from part 1, the basic needs, 1,799. From part 2, for your additional ones, 775 ringgit. Bring you to a total of 2,574 ringgit for the budget sensitive person. Now for the average consumer, the basic needs with the updated amount for accommodation is 3,386 ringgit. For the ones, the additional amount is 1,400 ringgit. And that brings you to a total of 4,786 ringgit per month. So why am I showing you all these numbers? My purpose is to give you two realistic representations of the average Penang night and how the true cost of living is like over here in Penang. Of course, there are assumptions and there are certain costs that might not have been put in. 
and that's up to you. Ultimately, you are in control of your own budget. You should know your own basic needs and wants and be accurate in your own representation of your own numbers. I hope you have a much clearer picture on what cost of living in Penang is like with part 1 and part 2. Penang is really a beautiful sunny island with lots of greenery. I really enjoyed staying here, enjoying its delectable food and all the awesome locals that I get to interact with. I really urge you to have an experience of staying or living here in Penang. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy creating fun and educational videos for you. Do hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as you will help us to create more videos like this for you.